Okay, well guys, we should be live with uh, another edition of our first edition Dungeons and Dragons game. We're short some players tonight. Uh, Oak will be showing up shortly. Jin not feeling so well, uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do some things tonight. My voice is also crap from being sick, so don't mind that as well. Yeah, COVID sucks. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got the screen up. Uh, I got Rustinford showing, but the group is kind of split up right now between Rustinford and Garotten. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start with uh, your character. Well, let, let's do introductions first. Uh, I was going to say, Richard, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character. Hi, I'm Richard, and I've got the wrong name on the screen. I am playing Tristan, and not Fig Jam. Um, I am a renumeration redistribution specialist. Level three thief. That's other people <laughs> might call me. Nice. Um, and so let's take a moment here. So, how do you train in the downtime? You guys have a month before the uh, next big thing happens. Uh, and during that time, you have a little bit of downtime and you can do some training. How how do you manage to get your training in? Well, other than just pickpocketing throughout the entire town. <laughs> um, that's. <laughs> You seem to have dropped this, yeah, and then giving it back to everybody. Um, unless there is a thieves guild somewhere in this city, or like I don't know, an apprentice pickpocketers or something, <laughs> whatever. Then I guess that uh, Telish had books and things. And okay, so you're gonna raid his private stash? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, he definitely has. Stash, see what he's got. <clears throat> all kinds of books and scrolls on how to uh, properly uh, lift a wallet, pick a lock, and do all that fun stuff. Um, just as a question, how do you guys uh, get access to Telish's room? Now, do you do this on the sly or after doing your information dump um, in Garotten, do you ask for permission to search his room for incriminating evidence, that sort of thing? I, th I think that trying to leverage our position as neutral parties doing an investigation would be the thing to do, just to go and, and ask for permission to see the room. That seems to make sense. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that'll work. He and, escaped. Uh, Perhaps there is details of where he escaped to in there. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Exactly. So you know that he told you that the uh, the list of the guild members was in there. Now, is that something that you hand over or do you keep to yourself? I feel like if we're making deals that are tenuously moral, we would probably be, I would be inclined to lobby towards keeping it for our own insurance because we might be a target if nothing else. Mm-hmm. Uh, I agree. The other thing you do find is that he keeps meticulous records on uh, who he's murdered, <laughs> what he was paid, um, and in some cases even blackmail material on the people that hired him in case it ever came up. Is that something you want to turn over? That only really implicates him. Didn't he, Richard, he didn't he want us not to implicate him further than we had to? Wasn't that part of it? No, the the exact wording is to do, to not hand over any more information that you than you had to. So it's still your choice, really. Did this have proof of the priest? No, uh, the, he no. never had a chance to do, to make that entry. Then no, we shouldn't. It's not related. There's the oak. Hey, what's up? Sorry about that. Daughter wanted water burger. There were two lines back the hell up to the road. It took 25 minutes sitting there to get my food. I hope it was good. <laughs> it's for her too. I'm not getting any. <laughs> nice. All right. So it sounds like uh, other than your party telling the administration in Garotten that Telish was responsible, that he was running an assassin's guild, uh, and that it was the bishop who hired him, you're not going to actually give them any evidence of this. I think... Hmm. Didn't we have evidence? If we can get to his room, we had evidence. That's what we were just yeah, talking we about. Just there, gotta... there are two, uh, two things that are very damning. One is uh, he keeps a roster book of people that are members of the Assassin's Guild. Uh, so it proves that a guild is in existence and who's part of it. Two, he has his own personal book. And you kind of can put together that each of the assassins in the group keep their own. 
uh, of the assassinations that he has carried out along with what he was paid, who paid him, and in some cases, blackmailable material in case it ever came up. So those are the two things you could leverage. The question to the party was, did you? What you handed over, what you kept to yourself. So, okay. So what without evidence, um, they're going to believe you, especially since Tellus seems to be missing in action, hasn't come back, has been reported to uh, have left. Um, mm. And so what you found out will be uh, given, you know, given back to Restonford to let them deal with it. But uh, without any hardcore evidence, what happens on that end of things may not be terrifically useful, but that may be as you want it. Uh, it really depends on how much you want to get into the politics of another city. <laughs> oh. So double thinking, uh, I think we should turn in the roster so they have legitimate proof of the guild because Telish got away. That's all that matters. You know, we already told them that he owned the guild and ran the guild. Now they just know who else to go after, and that's not him, you know? And then mm -hmm. uh, the... We need to watch our own backs at that point, too, because we're betraying the rest of that assassin. That's that's and, what I brought up, yeah. And then uh, the other thing, the personal log, I don't think we should turn that in because it doesn't have proof of the one with the priest and it's just further incriminating him for other stuff that he's already asked us not to do if we can help it so now we, before we, we turn to do that before we even do any of the turning people in even the guild we were told what the baubles look like if we could mm. find those in the priests you know right so position. i think we should bring that up too and just be like we want to be able to go there and see if we can find these <clears throat> soul prisms or whatever and have tell it have a pa 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 pelar whatever his name is sorry you're right uh, the problem the with wizard. that is <clears throat> that uh garotten has no ability to tell restenford what to do like so if right. you want to go and okay. look for these baubles you need to get their permission or you need to do it on the sly i thought the bishop was in garotten no no in restenford. Okay. yeah but but <clears throat> We have blackmail materials on one of the council members, the Arnest. lady whose name is yeah. yeah. Or we could so talk we could to say, the hey, use your political favorites to well, get us. The other no, that's what I'm saying. Arnes is, is the ruler here in Garotten, um, right. because uh, essentially the third of the triumvirate is, has always been uh, just go with whatever sort of person. Mm -hmm. is very ineffectual. So she's the new power here. She has zero power in Restonford. Zero. Right. But she must have some sort of political favors or something. <laughs> she or... doesn't. That that's the point. She uh she is the triumvirate here was so low on favors with Restonford that they were trying to make sure that they they were in the clear for the killings because of that. Uh, there, she okay. has no pull in Restonford. <laughs> we could go talk to the uh the new heiress there, the young girl. Yeah. Unless she's in league with the bishop. We could get her you know, one, she could earn political favors with Garotten as well as get rid of somebody that may be trying to usurp her later. I mean, the council and the the Garotten and Russenford have political rivalries, right? They like do. the council yeah. and her. So why don't we offer the blackmail on our nest to the princess? Because she's a little seedy little bitch. And oh, they've just be got like, our boat and our people in there, this... too. Yeah, but we just be like, give us like a month before you do anything so we can just get the hell out of here. This is for you. Like, have a piece of candy and like, let us go. Like, if you, we were told by the assassin that your lover boy did this and the proof is in his bedroom. Can we go get it? And you want like the proof and then they can shatter this pinata and like summon the spirit and like, we'll get to the bottom of it. We don't know that that's where it is. Exactly. Yeah. He could be in there. It might be somewhere else because we don't know who was taking over mm. the bishop. Mm. If it was another person here, then they might have handed it off to the actual person. Right. Or he might just simply have dumped them at the bottom of the sea so they could never be resurrected. Mm -hmm. Sure, well, we'll, let's uh, let's get to our plotting yeah. and planning after we're done with this. So, <laughs> Richard... Uh, 
your character is uh, training up by looking through Telish's uh, records and his books. And, you know, it's, it's a fair trove of information for you. Uh, seeing as by the background story you gave me, uh, you were never traditionally trained. <laughs> Indeed. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is Self-taught. actually pretty good. Um, let's go to Oak next. Oak, introduce your character and tell me how your character is uh, leveling up. How are you doing training? So uh, I am playing Thibor, half-orc fighter. Uh, during this time for training, he will be actually be helping uh, the crewmen and stuff. Any stuff on the the boat to help out there, or just physical exercise and during off time, just whaling the shit out of trees, fencing with other uh, shipmates, using them as target dummies, mm-hmm. trying not to be, kill them. You're gonna be level three, right? Yes. Yeah. So the third level is about the last level that, where you can really train on your own. After that, you actually have to pay trainers or be part right. of guilds that offer training. So that's not a problem. Uh, I do want you to do something else for me. Roll a percentage roll. Close to the middle, but low. Again, okay. Okay. Uh, no change in things <laughs> involving your crown. Uh, yeah, that's so what that's I figured good. that was for. Yeah, yeah. All right, Frendon, uh, how is Grown Wolf getting his training in? Uh, so he uh, he met with the wizard uh, Peloton, and um, <laughs> he uh, he he learned Stinking Cloud, and he did that um, through uh, Cabbage. picking through all the accoutrement that Peloton had and, and combining it with some of his own noxious uh, reagents taken from the Underdark. And uh, basically just listening a lot, which was hard for him. It was hard for him to shut up. But he got the idea very quickly that Peloton was much better than he was at this and that he should just shut up and learn. Sure. So Peltar uh, <laughs> takes you in and gives you some training as just a favor for what you've, uh, what you've done uh, for the two cities. So that's, that works fine. And Dion, finally, what does your character do to train up? Uh, well, I went with a friend in Peltars to get my armor back and all that, and, uh, when I made a trip back over to, uh, Groton and I, uh, volunteered with whatever few remaining town guard after most of them got killed by trolls, uh, trained with them for a bit, and also, uh, helped them out by using all the remaining raw materials in the smithy and working on making armor and weapons and working on my blacksmithing in the off time. Yeah, so sure. just Sounds kind good. of made some arms and armor for them and mm-hmm. they gave me training. And yeah. and your plate mail would have been ready um, after a couple of weeks. So you have that mm-hmm. for you now. All right. Um, I also want to sell everything that's left in the smithy <laughs> to who there's no other the smithy other in town <laughs> the orc guy yeah the orc guy so you want him to take over the business i um, just uh i just be like hey i uh did what i had to do here i used the rest of the raw materials to train wow. myself a bit but i'll give you whatever's left in this place like after i pick through what i want yeah. and you can just have it for name your price for what's there in the business Sure. Uh, I mean, the blacksmith didn't own the bl- the the actual building, but you're gonna sell out everything that's in it—the forge, the anvil, all the tools. Yeah. <laughs> uh, make me a charisma check. <clears throat> okay. This might not be good. I, I it's a high. I am on eleven, and I rolled a nine. All right. This is gonna be a, a versus. Give me a second. <clears throat> all right um you negotiate for a bit and uh you apparently have a much higher value on the tools and everything in here than uh the rival blacksmith is willing to pay but uh, you come to an understanding of around 200 220 gold 220 <clears throat> yeah because there was no actual um there wasn't any like extra arms and armor laying around just the, the, the few things that he was working on at the time. So what you're selling is like the anvil, the tools, the iron ingots, things like that. Okay. Is there anything that's finished there? Like you said, something he was working on. Yeah, right? there is actually a really fine set of chain mail armor, uh, that as, mm-hmm. uh, that was a commission. It actually has a person's name on it. What's the name? <laughs> Arnstrad. 
Orct. Is that a familiar name to it me? It isn't. It's not one that you've run across. I asked the Orc, does he know this name? He does. He does. He's a nobleman uh, that comes through occasionally, often stays uh, uh, stays overnight for a couple of nights, does some business in town, uh, uses, well, did use the dwarf to uh, maintain a few things here and there. Um, you know, you did well enough on the charisma check that he, he looks a little like, you know, um, I don't think I want to buy that set though you you do what you want with that but i i don't think i want to get my hands dirty with that particular nobleman uh is arnstrad's name on the list of uh roster of assassins he's not a he okay. doesn't live but here it, yeah. all right and it is complete it is complete all right i'll just be like hey if he asks about it uh i'll give it to him i'll keep it i'll safe keep it and i'll deliver it to him all right, all right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll take everything else. Uh, have my boys come over later today. Kind of looks around. Uh, you find anything else in here? Mm, do I? Have I in the time I've been here? Because I'm said sure you actually I searched the place. Uh, go ahead, roll oh. me a d6. Okay. <clears throat> Four. Okay. No. no. Just wondering. Just wondering. You know, uh, if he kept a manual around or anything. He did some. You know, he just did work a day work for most people around this town. Nobody has much uh, use for anything more than a a hoe or a, you know a farm implements around here. But occasionally, he did some really good pieces, like that chainmail you've got there. And mm. I'm just wondering if maybe he'd left uh, his journals around, anything telling uh, what his recipes were to harden the steel, anything like that. No, no, okay, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, if you come across some journals. I'd be willing to pay you a fair amount for those. <clears throat> I mean, is there a way to rummage through his bedroom or no? Well, that's kind of what you did. So yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, why I was assuming. Like, it, right? I mean, if you find it, then it's yours, dude. Like, it's in the house. It's in the smithy, and you have the key now. And I sold it. It's, I mean, I'm just. I might if I'm still in the area. If you want to show me some tricks, I'm still learning. I'm new. I'm no competition. But. Yeah, yeah, I won't be doing that. But thanks anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you got yourself some more coin. Um, all right, so yeah, you guys, how? What are you handing over to our nest, and what are you not? So, I'm a little concerned about the Assassin's Guild materials because I feel like that's going to make a lot of enemies. Mm. A lot of enemies they're probably going to execute, hopefully. If they can catch them all. Like Pokemon. True. I mean, we will, we will, we have killed a number of them as well. Fair. It would be nice to put the names to the bodies we've already uh, made in the pub. See which ones were not part of the guild and have just got killed by us by mistake. <laughs> Assassin, assassin, collateral damage. Assassin, assassin, collateral damage. <laughs> exactly. I mean, they're not in a position to not believe us, as Bert said, so we don't have to give him anything and just report what's happened and that he got away. Like, it's fairly obvious he did. Yeah, you could always hold on to it in case uh, it's something that you need as leverage later on. Again, Arness is mm -hmm. more than willing to believe everything that you're saying. Yeah, um, so I think we should just not do it. I, I, yeah, I keep flipping and flopping, but really now I'm like, I don't think we should give anything. Hmm? Okay. Uh, very good then. So what do you want to do about things, if anything, then? <clears throat> you got a month to blow. Uh, you've already spent a couple of weeks doing training. Uh, your ship will be done in around that time so it's not quite done yet uh there's a lot of extensive damage to the hole uh your crew your people are doing pretty well here uh some of them have uh taken up some small jobs here and there uh selling a little bit of the wares aboard the ship got them enough gold to be pretty comfortable uh you're not selling it all because you feel pretty sure that you can get better profit in a better port these are restenford and garotten are still both fairly small villages or cities hmm. <clears throat> 
So yeah, it's um, up to you guys. Um, there are a couple of things that are outstanding, like um, Frinden. Grown Wolf will find out in Restonford, for instance, that uh, there is a standing, um, what you call it, uh, there's a desire for a certain castle that has gone to ruin in a place they call Bone Hill uh, yeah. to be basically uh, not plundered, but there seems to be someone who's taken up residence in there that has made it very difficult for some caravans to get through to Restonford. Squatter's uh, rights are a bitch. Yeah, they've been marauding. Uh, there's been some word that bugbear forces have been used. Um so it's a continual problem for the town uh, that they're still looking for people to fix for them. They don't have enough guards. That they can just send out a guard contingent to do this. They would leave the city pretty much unprotected. So that is something um, that's outstanding that might be interesting to do. What was the name of that castle again? Uh, well, it's Bone Hill. Uh, the name Bone of the Hill. castle is kind of lost to time. Okay. Um, we also, one thing while we're on me... I wanted to try to speed read that elven history as much as right. possible to put any connections together with the little girl that we know. So make me an intelligence roll, and you'll okay. get the information. The roll is pretty much to see how long it will take, okay? I gotcha. We do have 16 re-rolls. Uh, that is uh, five under my, my, my score. No so, you know, it takes a better part of a week, not because it's difficult. Uh, okay. You, you read elven just fine. Um, it's more the just the density of what you've got here. And what you're able to puzzle out or work out is that the girl um, that you kind of inherited with the house mm -hmm. is not the heir apparent. Likely okay. she's the daughter of the Seneschal that made away with all of these documents. Like her, her father, her parents are probably the ones who stole this away. Okay. Um, you do find like a partial journal and they're talking about it. There was a coup going on. They were afraid that the documents would be lost or destroyed or used inappropriately, and they made off with them. Okay. So that's All right, well, what it comes down to. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like an easy uh, trade-in for some gold then. Yeah, exactly. That's I feel less bad about it now. <clears throat> yeah. Same. And we can just take the girl with us when we leave the area. Because I don't think anyone's going to adopt her. If she wants to come. I mean, does she want to live in the wall all of her life? She can become a future PC for somebody. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is entirely possible. In the meantime, she has just pulled in a bunk bed and she's taken to Thyber. <laughs> she's just, <laughs> since Thyber picked her room, she just, all right, well, you know. <laughs> the one thing that he kind of like begrudgingly actually kind of likes her and he doesn't like anybody. <laughs> But he doesn't. He tries not to show that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what you have is basically uh, generations upon generations of elvish heraldry, uh, birth dates, records, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, going back for a very, very long time. <laughs> All right, so... What do you guys want to do? Uh, do you want to do anything with this bishop in Restonford? Do you want I... to just leave the politics to the people that play politics? Do you? Uh, I think I kind of want to like see what happens if we bring up to the princess like, hey, the assassin told us that it was it might be the priest and that there was soul trapping music. Just explain it and be like if. You want us to check it out if we can search and find the things and have them examined. By the way, here's some blackmail on our nests. So you guys want to be the ones to give the uh, the information to the Crown of Restonford? Uh, I don't know that we should uh, or involve should ourselves we, that much. Or well, should we talk to Peltar first about it? Uh, and did we? Mm, Peltar is not a bad idea because he was implicated and has skin in the game. Yeah. Um, and she was pretty close to that abbot and might be in on it, which is something that we don't know. So we might not right. want to talk to her directly. Right. We could be double screwing ourselves. You clearing uh, who did it and who paid for the doing of it. And Garotten has cleared Peltar. So uh, Restenver didn't have any problem with them. It was um, Garotten. 
But we can still tell well. him. Yeah. No, you, yeah. yeah, it's fine. If you tell him, he personally doesn't like to get involved with politics any more than he has to. Mm. Um, if the but crown here in Resterford is told, it's and it's up to them what to do, mm. you know. He doesn't particularly like that the new crown is a 14-year-old. <laughs> mm. But it is what it is. As long as they don't touch his tower. <laughs> But yeah, it's up to you what if you want to do anything. If you want an audience with her, um, one would be granted. Um, otherwise, you can just stay out of the politics. Mm. I'm trying to think what we gain by getting more involved versus staying clear of the blast radius. Trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Do we uh, do we feel an obligation to uh, our Ness at this point to get to, to look for those soul stones and try to get more evidence? Is that kind of where we're at? Uh, again, this is over the course of a couple of weeks. So apparently, right. uh, Andrea, who is the the daughter of the two murdered, <laughs> uh, the the Duke and Duchess of Restonford, um, apparently everything's square with Garotten. They don't hold any ill will passing over the information. Tellish is now, you know, his face is on wanted posters all over the place. <laughs> uh, so there's there's no more ill will between Restonford and Garotten. Now, if justice is actually going to be served and that matters to anyone, that that's, that's a question. I mean, do we care at this point? I say we just get out, just, just wait for our contact to come and, and wait for that payday and the next adventure. And I did find a neat castle. <laughs> Castles are cool. You trying to pick up pieces of royalty one at a time. You've got the crown. Now you go for the castle. I mean, <laughs> so we don't doing? we don't have like a house. How far away is the castle from these cities? Uh, the castle is on Bone Hill, just outside Restonford. Um, it's far enough away that the city itself hasn't been harassed by the forces that are in there, but they do harass the trade routes. Hmm. Is that like north of Restonford? It is north. Oh. You know, actually, that road that uh, yeah, <laughs> that poor horse will continually be traveling till the rest of its life is over. <laughs> yeah, that's the road. Okay. All right. So, uh, hmm, that might be interesting to check out after we get paid an immense amount of money and can hire a band of mercenaries to help us clear it out. Yeah. That's not a terrible idea. No one actually knows how fortified it is, if at all. Uh, it's not like they raid every caravan that goes by. Otherwise, the place would have fallen apart by now. I mean, a lot of the trade is by sea, but there's enough by land that it would have been a huge problem. <clears throat> there's a fair a bounty on it because the merchants that have had been attacked uh, have been pulling together resources uh, to try and hire parties to go and do this. Just This area gets very few visitors <laughs> your boat full of thugs <laughs> is the uh the most adventurers they've seen in a while yeah so i mean it's a thought we could maybe try to find other people to hire and go with it and just wipe it out real quick <laughs> and then maybe we can own it I mean, we know there are people to hire in this area although they are sea raiders rather than mercenary raiders well, we also have a list time. of assassins that will take jobs <laughs> that we aren't ratting out so we could just be like hey we know you're good at killing people are you good at fighting and be like here here's a hundred gold i don't know <laughs> we have a list of assassins like a list of assassins we can cross the name out of the book of and clear the name <laughs> as well. Yeah. Can we cross reference the ones that are dead? Is that, do we have time? <laughs> Those have been crossed out by Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's about a dozen members still active uh, in Garotten. Of course, maybe we could use that information to get them to work for us too. Mm -hmm. well, we, we, we've got information on you, so uh, 
I mean, we shadow. just offer them their job. Be like, hey, we know you're part of the Assassin's Guild. We want to pay you to do a job. Boom. Remember, like, a lot of them worked in teams, <clears throat> in cells. Mm -hmm. So it's it's entirely likely that uh, people on this list don't know of other people on this list. Mm -hmm. Get somebody to break in and go look for the bottles. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, you guys tell me. Uh, whatever it is you want to do before the month's out. I mean, if you want to just go right for that month, I haven't uh, got everything prepared for that because I figured you want to do some stuff in the meantime. But if you want to go right to it, we, we can do that. But there are things uh, that are going on. Hmm. Yeah, we could even do it anonymously. We, since we know who they are, we know where they can be. We can have notes left for them. Well, this is what we want done. If you don't, <laughs> I'm gonna start hard. That way, they can't tie it back to us. <laughs> we got a certain bishop we want off. <laughs> oh, no, 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 off. We want stuff found. <laughs> well, they're assassins. They, they don't find off. stuff. They just end stuff. <laughs> yeah. They, they find people's backs with their daggers. <laughs> I like the idea of weaponizing these assassins through through uh, blackmail. You know, it'd be even more funny. If we wanted to take care of the guild and they don't know who each other are, we could have them offing each other. We were told that they didn't know each other. That is yeah, until true. there's That's the last great. man standing. Now you can work for us. <laughs> You're proven to be the most assassiny of the assassins. <laughs> uh, we pit them all against each other, and whoever survives doesn't get turned in. And then That's the rest saying. of the list. Yeah, I like it. We will call it the um, the assassins. Uh... Or send them all to the bishop. <laughs> yeah. anyway. uh, see who comes back. I've 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 contracted twelve people. The one who comes back gets the money. <laughs> Assassin Royale. <laughs> oh yeah, these are cheese. Ideas. Um, that's only in England. Okay. Oh, it's true. Um, or, or France, sorry. That's right. According to Pulp Fiction, that's correct. Yeah. Um, Zed's dead. <laughs> so let's see. Well, with the Assassin's Guild, that's that's one thing that could be done or leveraged in an interesting way, if not the ways already discussed. I'm trying to think what other loose plot threads there are. We don't have to worry about the little girl anymore. Maybe we should try to reunite the little girl with the the um the priest that liked her because he's no longer being targeted. Uh, and also she's not in any danger because she's not a political anything. She's just a person. Let her make the choice. Yeah. And it was the, the people. Guild, it was the guild that took the papers to begin with. And it was the church that hid the guild's actions. So yeah, we have the rightful guy at the head of the church again. Yeah. We fixed the church. We, disperse the assassins and they only want the information they didn't care about her she's if, a witness to something that's been dissolved and dealt yeah. with mm -hmm. well it sounds like you guys are a little indecisive about uh how you want yep. to go about things so let's say another week passes while you're trying to figure things out and uh word is uh made its way to garotten uh grown wolf is still in restonford but you're in contact um Peltar has some neat little communication devices, so you can Sovereign you can pick up a phone, <laughs> make a few calls. Um, well, so word I gets got out. them. Um, I got them from his prison section, and they call <laughs> them for communicating down their cell phones. Yeah. So you are informed through crier and by just general news and by gossip in the streets on occasions that. Uh, Andrea, daughter to uh, Brellis and Fairwind, is due to be married to Qualton, the abbot of Restonford, in a week's time. I think we should send Got you these 12 assassins? As yeah, I, gift. I think we should. I think we should send the assassins to assassinate them before the wedding day. Yeah. If you succeed, you know, anonymously send the letter to each of them. Don't let them know that and just see who comes back with his head and offer him like a couple gold each for the two soul stones. Describe them and be like, yeah, if you find these, you can find these baubles. Yeah. Bring you know, them with you. Them. Yeah, I like that idea. All right. Well, you can kind of get an idea um, from uh, Telish's notes 
about how much he charged per victim. Um, and of course, you know, you've got a Baron in there, which is very expensive. Actually, the Baron's not listed. That's right. He, he didn't get to get a chance to describe that in. But someone of the political value of a, an abbot, um, quite, quite pricey. <laughs> Well, we also have the uh, extortion aspect yeah, of yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, what's the price of their lives? I, I, you know what? Maybe we like leave a note for one the way we were talking with the subterfuge, and then we say like, get two of your closest, most trusted allies and make this happen, or we're turning the entire list over. <laughs> like all of you, figure it out. You know how oh, to. Or no, each no, other. I, no, because that could get them to try to find each other and turn against us. What we say is that uh, if you don't succeed, we will turn the rest of the assassins against you. Because if they don't know who the, each other is, they don't know who to trust. Mm. Like and if you don't succeed at this, then the rest of the guild is coming after you. And we'll like actually that. pay them to do it. So. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I like that's, that. that's a pretty good way to go. Uh, so is that what you do? Yeah. Who do you choose on the list? So we have... Um, are there any so rankings or like there's no rankings going? but they do tell uh there is information as to uh, like what business they're in what they do for a job that sort of thing. well now technically we could do that to all of them because if they don't know then they don't know who or who's going to turn against who we just send the entire guild after it. yeah I, that's why i was thinking anonymous letters to each of them the don't... only problem there being if we tell them to find somebody they trust to work with and they're like hey i got the same letter Mm. And like, let me check with some people I know who I would get to work. Oh yeah, and then they start putting two and two together. That's the only bad thing about that. Mm. Gotcha. Or, or we just tell them, you know, don't worry about getting friends. Just get this job done. Keep it quiet. Don't let anybody know. <clears throat> does this list uh, show the cells of no, who works with who? It, it doesn't. No. Okay. Just gives you a name and uh, basically their profession. Uh, Boss Mara, the smuggler. Uh, Phil Mar is a hunter in the area. Uh, Rogan is a cleanup boy in the stables of uh, uh, Abraham's place. Uh, Lothar <laughs> is the groundskeeper of the temple. <laughs> oh, of of uh, the abbot's yeah. temple? No, no, the one Let here. This uh, is all in yeah, I remember him come running okay, up. That's the, the one right I scared yes, away. Yes, that's the one you scared away. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I want to so, go see him so later. So here's what we can do. We can, we can put in the note that they have they have to do this alone. Do not let anybody else know. We will have other members watching you. So as everybody is going there, they may see someone they recognize and be like, oh, shit, that's who's watching me. Yes. Yeah. Your I fellow think... guild members will be watching, you know. Like that. I think I think Oak is uh, the right level of devious for this particular <laughs> plot. Every new suggestion, I'm just nodding my this head like. beautiful. Like, I don't even have to cast a spell. This is wonderful. I can just eat bad things and shit. Well, it, it helps like, for I'm many fun. years of DMing also, because I also think of how would I screw my players over trying to pull <laughs> this on me? That's fair. I All like right. that, though. Just so, a vague letter for each of them. So you want to send a letter to each of the people on the list saying that? Yeah, they're not to contact anybody else for help. Do it on your own, and you will be being watched. Um, is, is there the equivalent of like uh, remailing houses here though so that way no uh, guild is member is going to track down our paparus and well, that's, then that's, that's, the, uh, that, that's the idea is uh, what I was going to ask next is how do you leave these messages yeah um, okay. oh I also think at the end we should state you must if you expect payment you must bring proof of the death and if you want extra payment the two baubles any extra bodies with you at the time of turning this in will make this payment be split per person. Not yeah, they're individual. gonna want money up front, possibly. That's where the blackmail comes in. That we'll send yeah. the rest of the deal if you don't do this, but mm -hmm. you'll be rewarded if you do. If you, it's yeah. not up for negotiation. Yeah, it's it's stick at the start, but carrot if you're not a uh, if you follow. Yeah, because my thought is, what if they do decide? Because they're if they're all going to go after to kill him, they're going to realize, oh, we're all going to kill him at once. Like, so the the whole thing is, what if they do? Couple survive, and like two or three of them, four of them show up at our door. Like, all right, like okay, well, this. we're technically we've got possibly eight hundred grand in coming to us. Yeah, true. In a month, so yeah. All right. Sure. Here's your reward. <clears throat> Give right. them a month to so, do it. <laughs> so tell me, uh, how do you leave these messes, uh, these uh, missives, with each of your 
<laughs> the well, this assassin. Our here. little elven girl has been living here for a while and going undetected. Wow, you want her off. to deliver them? Okay. Um, Unassuming, right. she knows the area. She's quiet and stealthy. Okay. She can put them in places to be found. Is everybody good with that? I'm. I think that's pretty good. I think I. I again, uh, um, Grown Wolf is just impressed. Impressed, surprised, delighted, tickled with the amount of deviousness that you're showing. And I, every time you offer a new suggestion like that, I kind of I, I turn to Tristan and I'm just like, he's really duplicitous. I feel like we could all learn something, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, don't trust I Thibor. I got an AFK just sick. Yeah. Because NPC, you're like off smithing things, aren't you? <laughs> ding, ding, yeah. ding. Ding. I'm sitting here trying to uh, do a um, slash roll command into the Twitch window. <laughs> it's like, why isn't this working? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> wrong window. All right. I'm, I'm making the money blacksmithing to pay these assassins. <laughs> oh no, there's a nat twenty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, she takes a better part of three days to do it uh, just to make sure that, you know, she she has to scope the people out, see where a good place to lay the messages, um, etc. She's pretty sure that um, she wasn't seen except for one time. Okay. Someone might have caught a glimpse of her. She's we kill sure. everyone that lives within a mile. No. <laughs> it's the only way to know. <laughs> Nuke the site for morbid. It's the only way to be sure. <laughs> I cast sleep as big <laughs> as I can. Right. No. Uh, yeah. So this was when um, when she went to the temple here when she was leaving the message for the groundskeeper. Uh, she thought she might have been seen might have been seen well, i already yeah. know what he looks like so i'll beat his face in <laughs> if i need to he's already scared of me <laughs> if i see him in town over this time period like over this month if i ever see him in particular i'm just gonna <laughs> smile really big at him just... <laughs> hey little toodly wave little flirtatious wave you know yeah, he's pretty much scared to death of you. Um, all right, so the messages <laughs> got got sent uh, again. She thought she was saw that someone saw her when she was on the temple grounds. Other than that, she's pretty sure she got away without being seen. Okay. Uh, next year, you know, this was within three days of you hearing that uh, the marriage is to take place. So, Grown Wolf, you're staying with Peltar, so you're mostly in Restonford right now, and everyone else mm -hmm. is staying in Garotten. Is that what I'm getting? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and I'll be keeping an eye on the girl and where she's at and surroundings just in case something slips. They've got to go through me first. Nice. Well, we also have the entire pirate crew staying here and stuff and the villagers or whatever. Right. So, and I'm there, so. No one kills the girl unless it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You got dibs. Right. Yeah. I don't want to kill her anyways. You can you can totally yeah. I don't want to. I'm just saying if it's gonna happen, I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna move us over on the map here. Uh, going back to Garotten. Hire some assassins. All right, and let's see, yours was forty seven is your house here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the night after all the messages have been delivered and you guys are Unwinding, you've been training hard, uh, learning new things, and just kind of settling in. Uh, you've got another week or so before you're hearing from your contact. So that night, um, folks can be up or not as you wish. Uh, as there's enough people there that uh, you, primary PCs don't need to take watches unless you want to. You've got other people to do that. But you're alerted. Um, that the thatch roof of your place is on fire. <laughs> All right. You don't need no water. 
Let the no. Uh, let's see. Um, the roof. The roof. No, Grown Wolf. Roof you're you're in the other town because you're with. Yeah, I don't town. see anything. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um. Right. We could. Just are placing Garotten's on fire, but we're not there. <clears throat> no, you're there. You guys are there. Grown Wolf just is in in the other town because that's where Peltar okay. is. He's training. Right. So yeah, we'll yeah. get everybody up and alert and get grab buckets. Okay. Uh, yeah. So some of the seamen are out first. They have buckets or, you know, starting a brigade. And as they come out of the front door, several of them drop with crossbow corals stuck in them. Uh, they're firing from the tree line. Mm. Uh, is there a back door? Well, yeah, you've got a back door to the street here. Yeah, tell everyone else out the back door and get to the well, ship. Yeah, I want to try whatever's the, the <laughs> darkest area to... Uh, Tell the girl, come on. And I'm, I'm carrying my two handed sword, but I'm going to have the shield equipped too, just for extra cover as we run out, trying to protect her. And Are you going out first out of the back door, or are some of the other men? Yes, going out I'm first? going You're first going with first. the shield up, ready to for attacks coming in. Keep right, her behind. I'm gonna, me. I'm gonna um, bring the tower shield and I'm gonna set it up a couple steps in front of the back door as I go out. Okay. And keep going. Uh, yeah, there's crossbow bolts that thud into your tower shield. Um, let's see here. Ooh, grown wolf, a bolt does get by your shield. Grown wolf? Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm in the other town. Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Oak. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get hit anyway. Yeah. It's, it's, like, uh, it's a grazing. With the puns. Yeah, it, it's a it's a grazing arrow that just uh, goes by. It slices open uh, your left shoulder, like where you've got your shield up. It just goes over the edge, okay. slices you slightly. Uh, but the path of the arrow, it's just a point of damage, but the path of the arrow just burns. Uh, make me a save versus poison. poison. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Roll a d8. All right. Take three further uh, points of damage. Uh, you drop to the ground and start convulsing. Uh, so, like, your your limbs are just kind of shaking and locked up. You really can't move. Um, it's kind of like a paralysis. It's causing all of your joints to lock up very painfully, so you just can't move. Which means you drop the girl, who immediately tries to start pulling you inside of the house. Uh, you're, uh, well, she was supposed to be my... I wasn't holding her, just being the meat shield in front of her. Okay, well, either uh, way, she's grabbing a hold of your clothing and trying to drag you back into the house. Um, okay. Dion, you were there with the tower shield, which is taking a bunch of bolts clattering on the other side. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and what are you doing, Tristan? Well, I was just going to go outside to help, but... Then I guess. Not yeah, you. If you look thing, out the there? out the uh, front door, which faces into the forest, you see some of your men dropping uh, from corals. That, and you go out the back door, and you see <laughs> uh, Thiber laying on the ground, and um, uh, Tower Shield is like looking like a porcupine cushion. Uh, so what do you do? I guess I try and pull Thiber back inside. All right. So you help to pull it in. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, what's your armor class right now, Dion? It is, I'm in the banded armor, so it's a three with the large shield of banded three. armor. Okay. Uh, more bolts slam into your shield. Some of the other people that are running out to the back door are being taken down by these bolts, much like um, Thyber is. There, He just foams coming out of his mouth. His joints are all locked Shh. up. They managed to pull you in, Thyber. Uh, building still on fire, though. You're going to lay there and convulse. Yep. For <laughs> <laughs> a little bit longer. <laughs> um, is there any... No. Well, so we've got a thatch roof. Yep. Mm. Uh, is there another exit out of here apart from the front and the back doors? Not that's, yeah, well, not that's yeah. intended. I mean, you can easily windows. go through a wall or a window if you want to. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, um, I, I will try sneaking out a window at the side of, not the front or the back, the left or the right, wherever it is. Sure. And then... Uh, you drop out. Uh, it's fairly dark here. Uh, do you drop to uh, the north or south side of the house? Um, north. North side, okay. Uh, you drop out of the north side of the house. Uh, he, nothing immediately. No crossbow bolts being shot. Uh, this is fairly late at night, but a lot of people here stay up quite late drinking. So you see some of the houses still have lights on. Uh, you don't see the people that are firing. They look like they're staying in the wood line. They're staying far enough away from the light that they're not being spotted. Uh, by the motion, you can see it looks like there's a fair amount both on the right and left side of the house using the trees as cover. If you want to for an reconnaissance for a bit and see if you can pick out exactly how many, it doesn't look like you looks like you're safe on this side. That that is the idea to work out how many there are on. All right, go ahead then, and make me the least. go ahead and make me a stealth check then. Oh, Your thiefly move silently. Oh, my character sheet is closed. That is not good. Did you update it since you leveled? Yes, I did indeed. I gained like 5% or something to hide in shadows or move silently. Yes. Hide Which in shadows. One? Yeah. Hide in shadows. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no, that is massive fail. Right. I mean, we have 16 rerolls. No, that, yeah, you can use rerolls if you want, or you can go with that. That doesn't necessarily mean you fail. You always think you do a good job. <laughs> yeah. Eh, I'll blow a reroll just to see mm -hmm. okay. if I can get any better. It's not going to be, I haven't got a great chance at this. Oh, well, that is very close. Okay. You're going to go with oh, that one then? I'll stick with that, yeah. Okay. All right. From what you can tell, uh, there seems to be maybe four or five people on this side in this wood line over here and fewer on this side. Can't tell exactly unless you want to get closer. You feel pretty safe from where you are right now, though. Um, you can see that once you get a little bit away from the building, you can see what's on the thatch roof that started the blaze. As someone had you know, a Molotov cocktail, you know, just a very thin glass bottle filled with alcohol and had a wick in it and was just tossed up there to get everything going. Mm. All right. So All meanwhile, right. inside... Uh, remember when I told you that you had a device to talk to Grown Wolf when he was over in Restenford? So it, it's just a basic little bobble that you could use to contact if you wanted to, just to let you know it's there. Um, yeah. Thiber, you're starting to gain some control over your limbs. It's not pleasant. You hurt a lot. <laughs> uh, can I contact Paltar and uh, Grown Wolf? Uh, sure, if you want to do that, and you can do that. So Yeah. Once I'm sure that Tybor's in the building and stuff, I'm gonna like shut the door or whatever, and or leave the tower shield actually, and the, the door can stay open. It's fine, whatever. <laughs> the tower shield's in the way almost, so uh, I go and I contact them, be like, "Help!" Yeah, you. Yeah, so Grown Wolf, you see the scrying orb uh, is giving off a little bit of a glow, and you see in PC's face, kind of lit up by uh, firelight. <laughs> Oh no! Tell Peltar <laughs> to make it rain. Uh, I'm gonna uh, instructions unclear. Uh, bring the pain. Not sure what you said. Over. <laughs> we that need water. Oh, uh, so what? What's going on? Fire. Where? Where assassins. should I fire? The house. No. No. Oh, assassins <laughs> at the house. Okay, this is bad. Did you all do that wonderful plan that sounded really great and it went awry? That's great crazy. on paper. Hmm. Oh no. Um, I'm safe. Over. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? About oh, that time, I need God. you to make a save. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> save against stupidity. Um, so uh so uh I guess you all should try to get here. It seems fine here, over. 
We can't. They have us surrounded. The house is on oh. fire. We're stuck inside. Get uh, Peltar to do something, please. Okay, I definitely have that kind of sway here. No problem. <laughs> uh, cavalry is on the way. I'll do my best, y'all. It might just be me. I don't know. It just might be me. <laughs> a day and a half later, he shows up on a donkey. <laughs> <We're all laughs> I've got the, yeah, I'm, I'm on a donkey. I've just had the shits terribly for all the training I did with Peltar, eating terrible things. Um, so yeah, uh, with that in mind, uh, I'm gonna go to Peltar, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna let him know what's up. The assassins are attacking the homestead, it's on fire. Um, I don't know what skin he has in that game, though, but, but I'm gonna plead. I'm gonna say, is there anything you can do to help? Give me a charisma check. <laughs> okay. I am so not charismatic. Um, alright. Ooh! Oh, that's not. I'm gonna reroll. I'm gonna use one of our rerolls. <laughs> All right. Still failed. Still failed that. So right, just, look. Um, whatever your friends have gotten themselves into is not any party of mine. But I can send you there if that would help. Uh, it's better than nothing. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I guess. I can die too that way. That's great. <laughs> It's like you've been of, of of some use to me here. I, I I can't just leave though. So he pulls a ring off his finger and hands it okay. to you. Okay. Uh, I like is... you, but maybe not that much. <laughs> this has uh, one more spell in it. Uh, it controls a water elemental. Maybe it'll be of use to you. Oh, good. I'll have the elemental of surprise. Are you ready? Good. <laughs> this is before you really can say anything. <laughs> Mm. Right. And he sends the elemental into the tree line to fight the guys instead of putting out the fire. <laughs> hey. All right, so the fire is spreading from the thatched either. roof. It's starting to burn its way through down uh, to the top floor. Some of the bedrooms are on fire now. Um, well, Drone Wolf, yeah, okay, so I rolled all right. So uh, you're going to appear pretty close to the scrying orb uh, just off okay. to the side of Dion. Whatever you were uh, wearing in the middle of the night, that's what, you're, <laughs> what you've got. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say because I don't have armor anyway as a magic user. I am just in my skivvies, Bert. I am I am a communicator, a ring, my backpack, which I threw on quickly, and like just 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 me. Birthday suit. Happy I'm birthday. picturing like you, you've got one of those big, you know, the the billowy like poet shirts, <laughs> but it's like not a full long one, and it's just that and like one sock. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Hey With everybody toes sticking out I, i'm gonna when i when you do that i'm gonna appear and i'm gonna say the cavalry is here <laughs> great can you do something about the fire i can is that a ringing in your ear i say and then Shut i summon do it <laughs> the water elemental on the house right yeah so help. a water elemental appears in front of you um roll charisma check Oh, no. No. Auto succeed with four. I, I'm going to auto succeed with four on this one. That'll leave us with six, I think, rerolls. Ten. Ten. Well, you know, okay. Before you do that, you could always roll yeah. first. Oh, I thought we had to spend it first. My bad. No, well, I don't roll it. Let's see how the fates go then. Maybe, maybe it'll but be you good. You can't really fail this. This just tells me how many commands that you can give it. What's okay, your charisma? Okay. My charisma is ten. Ten. Okay, so you would get one command if you okay. want to keep that. I, you know what? I think we're kind of surrounded in a bad spot. Does anybody mind me spending the four? Do it. All right, I'm spending the four. It's a foregone conclusion, Bert. Okay. Uh, well, if you spend enough to get an auto success, we do the auto success as a high success. So you would have, okay. you can give it three commands. Uh, it's just the most that's left that it can take. So, okay. So now while you're doing this on the outside, so Tristan, uh, you're hidden, you think. <laughs> you see uh, sure. a person burst out of the uh, of the tree line here on this uh, the right side, and they have another one of these like glass globes, and he, the, the the fuse is already rent, lit on it. And he's gonna chuck it into the window that you just broke out and came out of just a moment ago. Uh, now you appear to be hidden. If you want to stop him from doing this, you can, or you can try. Let us shoot him. With a, bow, a dagger and break the, t the thing in his hand so it sets him on the I don't have any daggers. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not overly Shoot proficient, the but so bow or arrow right into the bottle in his hand. All right. 
All right, so yeah, you're shooting at a, a specific location, I'll so it's try. a little harder, but not bad. Go ahead, give me your roll. Uh, um, do you need? Is there? Uh, I'll just roll the bow. Roll yeah, just attack. just make an attack roll with your bow. Typically, yeah. called shots are minus four. Mm -hmm. um, Well, actually, that succeeds. Yeah, that, that succeeds. Uh, Eight, so, 13 succeeds. All yeah, right, wow. yeah. All right. Uh, I give you a little bonus because it's lit, it's dark, it's actually an easy target because of you know it being on fire. Uh, so, yeah, your arrow pierces it, uh, soaking the person in the volatile fluid, which catches fire immediately, and he goes up like a, like a candle, uh, starts screaming and rolling on the ground. So you guys hear that from the outside. Um, you also hear, unfortunately, other windows being shattered, and you guys start seeing flames start taking up some more of the rooms. Um, and around this time, you've got your elemental summoned. Uh, summoned. Yeah. All right, so what is its first command? Um, I'm going to look at the group and I'll be like, I think I get like a few of these. I think we should put out the fire, right? Put out the fire first, everyone. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I think that's a yes, and then I just yell, "Put out the fire!" before any more input. <laughs> yeah, Thyber, you're you're okay. You're stiff. You're going to be uh, minus two for your rolls for the next hour, but otherwise you can move around. Okay. Uh, put out the fire is the command, right? Yep. All right. Well, it starts with the obvious fireplace, um, <laughs> and then it goes up through the flue and uh, starts putting out the fire on the roof, and starts you know going through the house, putting out every fire they can find uh, outside. They have uh, gotten a little bit more frisky, and uh, they're moving in towards the house. If any of you are daring to look through windows, you can see you've got three on just three people coming in off the one side here. Uh, it looks like four of broken cover here, and on the outside, Tristan, you see that. So they're slowly coming forward with crossbows. The guy that caught on fire, uh, he stopped moving. <laughs> he's he's just, just burning away there on the ground perfectly fine i'm sure um how long does it take to put plate mail on a while and a or... while yeah. okay. all right so we're gonna cancel that idea for now um i i mean i have the short bow there's a window that's busted open yeah. on the side right sure you can take a shot yeah i'm gonna take a shot i'll just duck in and pew uh, yeah, i will be relaying like hey x people on this side and yeah. Or the other or whatever, so everybody knows where they're coming from. So I have a rate of fire at two. So all right. And while we're figuring that out, it was three, four, four is what we see so far. Yep. Okay. Well, three and four. Oh, three and four. Okay, my bad. I thought it was two sets of four. Three and four. Okay. Uh, you hit. You do some damage. Uh, one body goes down. Nice. Yeah, your first one missed, second you one hit. Get you idiot. <laughs> awesome. Right, yeah. So what does anyone else want to do? We're we're not doing initiative rounds yet because it's, okay. it's okay. not then, done uh, that. I'm gonna since the shield wouldn't be enough, I'm reaching over grabbing the, like the kitchen table. Yeah. And I'm running out the door using it as a just blocking everything. Front door, back door. I was going out the back, so that would be the closest. All right. Uh, you rush out. Um, they expend a few bolts against the table as they see movement, and you rush into them, I would assume, right? Yeah, so I get down, I'll drop the table, and pull out the hand, the two-handed sword. All right. Well, what I'm going to say then is that they shoot their, their bolts, uh, so they'll have to reload before they can do anything with those, and then you're in the midst of them. You're in melee with them. But that is pretty much going to be your action because you had to pick up the table first. Okay. Or I could do the, the, the uh, cinematic thing, and I'm going to run in and, like, hurl the table at them. Yeah, I, I'll give you that. It will still be a missile attack roll, oh, though, yeah. to direct yeah. it. I just and it improvised. I just figured a crappy roll. I'll just, I'll just do a straight D20. Success. <laughs> hey, that's pretty Thank good. You. Uh, you'll hit one of them. So your, your, what's your strength bonus? Uh, plus one. Roll a d6, plus one. 
So four. Four. Okay. You crush one of them beneath the table. It's like it's like you hear the crunch of bone. You see blood spurt out of the top. Uh, as you free yourself from the table and uh, you're in melee with the rest of them back here. So there are t- just two more. Uh, they're dropping crossbows going for their weapons. All right. So Grown Wolf, uh, yeah. your elemental is whizzing about putting out the fires. What do you want to do in the meantime? Uh, I see um, I see Thibor head out the back door and I say, I learned something about things heading out a back door during my training. And I cast Stinking Cloud on the group that he's not in. So oh, the, the okay, so you'd have to go through the front door then. He is in yeah. melee with the two. In yeah, the, yeah. Uh, I don't want to cast on him. So, don't so do that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, my, it's my back door, Bert, that it's coming out of, not the literal back door. All right. So. Do you have your spell up? Do you have? The I do. For it? Okay. I do. So, is there a saving throw? There is. Uh, there is. Uh, let's see. Con. Uh, yeah, I believe it is con. There's a saving throw from within the cloud, um, and. Ouch. All right, so what does it do to them? Okay, so essentially, any creature failing to save will be completely unable to act for 1d4 plus 1 rounds. Uh, they fall to the ground. They're basically stunned. A creature that succeeds may move within from within the cloud to be free of the effects after only one round of gasping fresh air. So they kind of get, either get stunned for one round or 1d4, basically, is what it looks like. Okay. And they can't, they can't make a saving throw or do anything in the cloud other than sure. leave. Three yeah, of the four go there. down gasping, gasping and coughing. One of them was quick enough to cover his face and is taking okay. a step to be out of the crowd of the cloud. Okay. All right. Uh, Dion, you took the shots of the window. So now we're into initiative. So Dion, why don't you go ahead and roll for your side? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you still yes. go first. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's, uh, you rolled it, Dion. So why don't you go and then you can tell me who goes next. All right. I'm going to go pew pew. All right. So the ones out the front seem to all be obscured by a cloud of gas. It's hard to make a target through that. Uh, and it looks like the out one... the other window, uh, Fiber is in melee with. Right. Didn't you say there was some like up here or whatever out the window? Uh, they were coming towards the front of the house. So you've got. Two oh, in the back okay, now, okay. and you've got the cloud out front. All right, so yeah, let's... Uh, you can in... still shoot at targets in the cloud. It's just they're a little bit obscured, a little harder to hit. All right, are the ones in Th- by Thibor, are they in immediate melee with they him? They are in melee with him, yeah. He rushed right okay. into the middle of them. You can still right. shoot. It's, yeah. it's not pretty. <laughs> mm, I'm going to go for the cloud. Okay. Let's uh, see if I can hit a couple. Um, can I... Can I do an intelligence roll as I'm observing the cloud and aiming at it to see if, uh, would I know if it's like possibly flammable? You would have no idea. It's, it's okay. magical. You have okay. never seen this before. This yeah. came, this came literally out of grown wolf's rear end. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so there's the so, two rolls. Miss, miss. Okay. Yeah, you, right. you fire into the cloud. You actually aren't sure if you hit anything or not because it's pretty obscuring. Uh, who goes next? I guess me. All right, that's fine. Since Go I'm ahead, Thimer. Remember, you're at minus two uh, from your joints locking yep. up from that poison. You've got two on you, so go ahead. Minus two. That hits. Oh, wow. And you just cleave one of them right into you, Man, you get a chance hard. to look, and this guy is just wearing, like, farming clothes. You know, he's got a pretty nice crossbow, but even the sword that he managed to draw out was not really well kept. And he definitely doesn't look like he's pretty skilled at this in the least bit. You just carve right through him. So does he even look recognizable from the area? Uh, He's not anybody you've ran across. Okay. Or the other person I'm facing? Uh, the other person you're facing. Why don't you go ahead and make me an intelligence check? I like the idea that we haven't run across these people, but we did run through them. <laughs> uh, nope. I got a 10. Um, looks vaguely familiar. Can't place him. Uh, this one is actually dressed a bit better. It's it's actually wearing leather armor. Okay. This one just looked like, a, you know, maybe a cow herder, farmer. You just cut him down. No problem. <laughs> Who's next?
Well, that would be you, Richard. <laughs> All right. Sorry, yeah. I was yawning. Yeah. That was not great. <laughs> um, so, do I think I could sneak over to the uh, combat without being noticed? The one that uh, the combat that involved. Thiber's in. Not Grimwolf, yeah. Sorry, Thiber is involved. Yeah, it's possible. Well, you can give, make me a move silent roll. If you right. get it, I'll give you the backstab. Yeah, exactly. I've realized I have things I can do as a thief, not just steal things. But... Yeah, what is that? It's your level. It's still plus four to hit times two. Wow, times two, your yeah. memory is great. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, uh, hey, so I, uh, I mean, that's a fail by nine. Okay. All right, so uh, you get in, and I'm just going to make a roll here. You might that might still be successful enough. Okay, uh, yeah, you, you don't think the guy notices you? He is filled up with uh, fibers, gore-covered body that's about to uh, put something in places that will hurt a lot. He doesn't notice you, so make your attack roll with no, a backstab. I'm no assassin. Yep, with the backstab. But I do know that this. Hurts. Ah, that is probably the worst roll I could possibly yeah. have done. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not gonna get through his leather armor. Is that with because the plus? I'm not an assassin, and I'm proving it to you, all of you, that I am definitely not an assassin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. If you want sure to spend enough. a reroll, do it. Does he get flanking? Also, uh, well, I got a plus four for plus four for the backstab itself. Yeah, I don't. Mm. No, because he would. No, I'm not going to give him the flanking just because I gave him the benefit of you're okay. you're distracting him. Let him get into the okay. position. Right. Just trying to get you some yeah. extra bonuses there. If he made the yeah. move quietly, roll. I would give it to you. But uh, yeah, no, that's fine. I will. I will spend a second re-roll today. Or oh, mm -hmm. first one for this one, and let's see if that's any better. Oh, there you go. Is that a crit? That's or is still... that a dirty 20? Uh, no, dirty that's 20. a dirty 20. Okay. That's still only one damage, so double or two. two. All right. Yeah, two damage. <laughs> that sucks. Reroll the damage. Tristan is definitely proving that he is not an assassin. <laughs> just kind of pokes him in the butt cheek real hard. That's what I want you to believe. Yep. No, he managed. Name to get is in. Yeah. He, he manages to get in just underneath the armor. Uh, unfortunately, the the guy moves just then, and so it's just a shallow cut across his back. Uh, so now he's aware that you're back there. You're both on him, uh, which leaves Grone Wolf. Um. Okay. So your water the, elemental the... is not done yet. Still okay. Still sprints. putting out fires. Okay. Uh, my other prepared spell is sleep because sleep is awesome. Mm -hmm. And so the group that is uh, currently contending with the cloud, because we don't have anybody in melee with them, I'm going to be like, night, night, and, and see how that goes. Sure. Right. Then they wake up because they're choking. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. That That is actually... Oh. I want to yeah. oh, okay. hold your spell, too, just in case shit gets hairy. Okay, okay, all right. I see. I see the wisdom in this. Maybe maybe Thibor puts his hand on me as I'm about to snap my fingers and is like, no, "Yo, I'm God, oh, okay, that's correct." So maybe through the communicator. No, okay. Um, it's Peltar's voice in your head is like, "That's a dumbass move, buddy." <laughs> it's like sleep on, sleep off is going through my head as I cast it on something next to a loud ruckus during the training, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just shoot a crossbow bolt into the the throng of them and try to hope to hit something. Sure. All right. So. Well, now one of them stepped out too. Oh, that's right. One is out. So I guess I'd aim at him because he's mm -hmm. a clear, clear shot. Uh, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You fire off a bolt and it streaks through the gas, hits him. You see him kind of crumple over a little bit and then he kind of staggers into the tree line. Uh, everybody else in the crowd can cloud continues to cough their lungs out. <laughs> I'm so proud. So I can relate I'm doing to things. about now. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Is this is this all just a metaphor for current state of life? Oh no! Yeah. Uh, all right, their turn. Uh, the one that's on uh, between uh, Grown Wolf and uh, Tristan. Uh, it's going to try. Thibor and Tristan. Yeah, Thibor and Tristan. Uh, since Thibor is. I'm the, Grown Wolf tonight. <laughs> more immediate threat. <laughs> you need to just drop a pun or two. No one will tell the difference. <laughs> right. Uh, what's your armor class, Thibor? 
Uh, well, did I have time to put my armor on? or was Probably that... not, unless you normally then wear your armor all the if time. If I didn't have armor on, it would be a nine. All right. Uh, yeah, so he has a sword uh, in one hand, uh, which he slashes up uh, and it makes contact, but then he flicks a dagger out with his other hand and throws it into um, Tristan. What? I don't like that. And Tristan, you can make me an intelligence roll, by the way. Um, Fiber takes seven points. Tristan take four. Ouch. Dagger's not poison, though. Uh, This guy is one of the assassins on the list. Uh All right. Uh, So that's his turn. Yeah. Cuts uh, cuts Thyber with a sword, throws a dagger at Tristan. So seven points and four points. Uh, in the back here, the guy that backed into the forest, he's just going to run. Just, just going to run. Just going to go away. <laughs> he uh, has leather him. on or regular clothing? Yeah. This guy's the one with leather. Oh. Yeah, that looked like The, the one that ran off? Oh, the one. well, you can't see him. You're out back. The guy that ran off is out front. I'm going to yell into the communicator. I hit him with a crossbow and he bolted. Dion, however, <laughs> can see the guy fleeing. So if you want to take a shot at him, you can. Yeah, I'm going to take my two shots. Heck yeah. Uh, how far away is he? 60. 60? Mm-hmm. Can I jump through the window and move about like 10 feet to get to short range? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can move. Hell yeah. What are you shooting with? Short bow. Oh, I say longbow is 60. So it's a one to hit modifier, right? Mm-hmm. From short. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. That's a miss. And that's a miss. Oh. Yeah. So he gets into the forest. Pew, pew. <clears throat> uh, okay, so the only one still standing that anyone can see that's capable of defending themselves is the one on Thyber and Tristan. So, uh, Thyber, why don't you roll a d6 to see who goes first this round? Okay, ah. goes first. Um, hmm. I don't know. He's confident and he can take you guys. <laughs> uh, he's going to thrust at Fiber 10, 12. What's your AC right now? That would be nine. So yeah, so that's a hit. Or, uh, yeah. Because I've only got my dexterity gives me a yeah. plus one. Take six more points of damage as he reverses the stroke on a sword and comes back down across your other shoulder. He only gets one attack this round. And you guys take your rounds. So this is the last standing one that can do he, anything. He so. slashes me and I, I just snarl. I'm like, my turn. And this is my twice attack round. Nice two. That'll hit. For 12. Yeah. Yeah, that pretty much puts him down. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that, that was, that's a good roll yeah that's a really good roll he'd already taken a little bit of damage so the aftermath that's of this is you've got some dead bodies you've got um three people still choking in the front yard uh one of them got away your house is no longer on fire and grown wolf you still can command the water elemental to do two things but otherwise combat's over can i uh coup de gras the choking ones if you want to enter the stinking cloud sure <laughs> oh. mm, unless you want no. to shoot them from the outside i mean that's fine you can do that i'm not gonna make you roll for it if you want to stand outside of the cloud or just shoot them with your bow then you can eventually kill them that way sure just the bow I'll, sideways. Use, I'll use yeah. my last five arrows why not <laughs> <laughs> While he's doing that, I'm gonna instruct the water elemental to uh, give chase the th- the thing in the woods and subdue it if we can. The the one that left, if possible, and bring it back to us. Well, that's three. Chase him is one. Subdue okay. him is two. So you can only okay. do two. So you, is that what okay. you want to do? Chase and subdue. Chase. Well, or what if you word it like? Re- bring the one that was fleeing to me. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's that's smart. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do just that. What Thibor said, who is clearly the face, not the not meta gaming at the, all here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love it actually. It's great. I like the idea that like I'm kind of bumbling and you're just everyone's just kind of like, oh god, dude, just fucking do the smart thing. Um, and so with that in mind, I'm gonna say, oh right, fetch, yeah, like a dog. I like That's the great. idea that Grown Wolf is pausing and it's like he's fixturing Thibor in his head, saying, "You idiot." <laughs> 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 it's that's exactly what it is over time that's what happens right now he's still saying it but eventually i just have a little thigh bore on my shoulder what's the uh, command so yeah what's the, the command? command is uh please fetch that fella what ran into the woods okay <clears throat> all right so drowning rules give me a second <laughs> Perfect. That's fine. We may not be able to question them alive. I don't even want them to be alive. If we killed all of them, we solve our problem. Yeah, well, well I don't is want it because the they bodies. turned, or did somebody tell them to? Yeah. Once you have all kind of gathered back in your houses, you know, you, you still smell smell the burn, but nothing is still on fire. The water elemental comes back down the fireplace, splooshes out the guy onto the floor. Uh, he's gasping for breath. He almost died. <laughs> Not quite. Searching all the other bodies that were outside. Yep. Uh, uh, so yeah, this is another one of the assassins on the list. So you uh, identified two of the bodies as being two of the assassins on the list. Mark and those indeed, off. One of them, the one that you just brought back down the fireplace, is the groundskeeper of the temple. I just smile at him and wave. Not you! <laughs> <gasps> oh yeah, me. Who sent you? Who sent me? I sent me. You think I didn't see the girl? All right. So you're the one that squealed to everyone else. Well, just, just. Ah! He kind right. of spits. What's what's in this for me? Come on. <laughs> you saw the letter. Well, you did read the letter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you, you know the job. And you want to attack us for trying to send you on a job? Yeah, what of kind course, of course, because you're blackmailing me. Why? Why would well, I not? We were gonna I'm, pay you. So you're you, you don't deal in blackmail as well? Uh, no, no, that that's that that's another. Yeah, um, I didn't take I need that to, course. Uh, I need to teach you about capitalism before we go further. <laughs> I think. Um, hmm. So with Look, that in mind, we figured if we could take out the person who was doing this, we get rid of the blackmail. There's no reason to be forced into a job. Yeah, well, that backfired horribly, and now we have all their cool stuff. By the way, I'm going to go pick up their bodies. You guys can interrogate them. And I'm going to go get all those bodies and drag them into the house. I want their stuff. <laughs> we just clean. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, the crew members that just cleaned the house are just like. <sighs> so who all knows? Well, there was just one person left of myself. Uh, he was out there somewhere. I, mean, I guess you oh, killed yeah. him. Oh, yeah. So all the others, you couldn't do it without friends. Well, why do One it of alone like when we can buy some farmers? Oh my God! Well, what kind of an assassin were you before? I mean, oh, take some pride in your work, man. It would work fine if you didn't have that. What the hell was that thing? A water creature. The demon. Um. <laughs> It's um, it's my cousin Marv. He has he, s he sweats profusely. He doesn't like to, it to be pointed out, but thank you for being insensitive. All right, you're just crazy. That one's frightening. Um, yeah. Uh, whew, so don't do you suppose want to do I got anything job? to bargain with right now, do I? Yeah. Uh, look, simple business, right? I mean, you don't leverage an assassin with blackmail it's just not done i took the chance figured i'd get rid of who are you guys anyway well we were the people who were going to pay you a lot of money if you did the assassination job a lot of money Obviously, oh, come on this was a joke money. you wanted to kill a bishop for that little money you're you're crazy but there was also the not being turned in part which was like kind of central to the reduced fee. Right. And so I figured if I could fix that part, I wouldn't have to do the job for way under rates. 
way under, I mean, by the way. I think I think both of us, both groups it's, it's like, of It's like getting paid an exposure, man. It's just, it's not cool. <laughs> I'd like you know, to think, uh, yeah. I'd like to think at this point, I'm like dragging a body in and I just like drop it and its head just wetly crunches <laughs> against the floor. Yeah. And I just look over and I'm like, listen, we're going to make a whole fuck ton of money in like a month or something. We yeah. can pay you a lot more later. They it's just we it. didn't want to say that in the letter because it doesn't seem very you know that promise that farmer had a to... family you know i mean yeah he was only 10 silver pieces but you know ned there had a family i mean come on oh better i mean you got him killed look oh. at that guy better dead than ned i say and not to mention they call it speculative friction you you kill once and then they pay you later it's speculative friction Okay, yeah, that one's, that one's crazy. That one's crazy. Yeah, so you're saying that if I uh, go in off his bishop for way substandard rates, and you wanted proof? I mean, I mean proof? I, yeah, I didn't agree with that, but that was just <laughs> silly, because, I mean, the proof is he's dead. And I mean, all right, well, get the, that, get the yeah. two little baubles, the shiny soul baubles. They're in his room, probably, maybe. They glow or something. I, the general description we were given up All right, before. so that's secondary, right? I mean, so you want yeah. the bishop of Reston for a dead, mm -hmm. nigh on to his wedding night. Um, mm -hmm. And if we can find these shiny baubles. Okay, okay, look. Uh, I guess you gave this message to everybody else that's still here in Garadin. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so... Mm -hmm. Is this only good for whoever brings back the proof? What if we all kill him? I mean, if you all want to kill him, this we just want that fucker dead. He's the one that killed the Baron and the Baroness, and we don't give a fuck about the people or the politics, but, like, fuck that guy. We just want to kill him off. So... But I think what he's asking, though, NPC, is, like, how does the money happen at that point? I think that's what he's getting at. We'll um, split it with whoever survives. Oh, You're gonna split oh the so total. the rate's even worse. Well, if, no, if... we get the money later on. <laughs> that, we that's have, the speculative part. We have a part. lot of money coming to us, but we can't pay it to you yet. All right, all right, look. Um... They call this in the business a cattle call. <laughs> so either... I just leave here where, you know, I've lived the last 10 years of my life or I go and assassinate this guy with other assassins who probably aren't too keen about sharing a fee. <sighs> right. You're, you're making this. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. OK. 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 So I can I'm walk sorry. out of here if I agree to give it my best shot. Kill the bishop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Restonford. Whew. Yeah, I mean, you guys don't ask a lot. Do, we can do that um, dark ritual that uh, your Telus knew. Yeah? So that we're both bound by both we're both bound by it. Yeah? Um, if we, if you don't think we're good I, I don't know what that is. What does yeah, Telus have to do with um... this? What's Telish got to do? Got to do? Uh, you didn't know who the head of your order was and the dark powers he used to bind people to doing things. Well, no, that's the whole safety precaution, right? Of... Yeah, as soon as as soon as they say this, I'm no. just gonna put a knife right. in his forehead. <laughs> like we fucked up. <laughs> oh. Telish said he knew every one of the people. Yeah, not every one of the people knew him. Yeah, well, I guess not. Yeah, ah, fuck it. <laughs> do, do we do that? Do we just off this guy because we overplayed our hand, and now he knows too much and is a liability? Because Teller said not to let not to harsh his calm, and this would like I don't want a dark lord coming after us. Y'all yeah. about to just knife this guy. Do you want to just finish him off? Yeah, I'm, 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 oh, yeah. Person. yeah just, I just do it. I just do it as they're talking. Just... All right. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I, I walk in, drop another body as he does it. What the hell did I miss hey. the past five minutes? NPC, <laughs> we're learning how to be better negotiators bit by bit, body by body. Okay. All right, all right. Just put him over in that corner. I have dibs on his stuff because it's your fault you killed him. I'm going to go get the rest of the bodies and I go back out to get the rest. All right. 
I wander off muttering something about eliminating the competition. <laughs> well, you account for two of the assassins that were left on the list. So there are ten yeah. others that apparently didn't come after you, so they must be on the mission, hopefully. Well, we know who they are. Yeah, so, I mean, you can we check can around check town. around in the morning mm. to see if... Oh, they all suddenly mysteriously went on a picnic somewhere. <laughs> out Business out of town, you know, last minute. Yeah, just, exactly. yeah, that's just how it happens. All right. I'd like um, to assume that we feed their bodies to Odette's lizards <laughs> to dispose oh, of any and all evidence wow. of the oh, bodies. I love that. Uh, that's actually like an that. awesome thing to do because, uh, yeah, I mean, all this excitement out here does cause people to start coming out of buildings to come down to see what's going on. I mean, your mm -hmm. fire's been extinguished, but, I mean, you're still smoking a little bit, so people come out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I took all the bodies inside while it was still dark. I did that, and I just disposed of do you start putting out a cover story or anything, or do you just say you were tired? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to say, like, incense, really, really dangerous, left unsupervised. Sorry, everyone. It was me. I smell bad. I was trying to cover the smell. It's me. Uh, okay, so let me think about this for a minute. Uh, four no, of them didn't leave behind not... a blood trail. They just No, that's not the tequila. story that we're using. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there uh, is blood we all over attacked, the grass. <laughs> we were attacked by assassins. We just say that we were attacked by assassins. We, we took the care murder. of that. Yeah, both of you are right. We solved the murder, so, you know, this proves that we were right. We're a target, and we all took right. care of it. Uh, well, Let that this will, be a that warning. Will track, that will track with the guards, uh, so they will they will leave you be. Um, again, you find out that this was two of the assassins on the list that had hired just some farmers. And to, some farmers. Yeah, some farmers that were willing to come out and kill some people for money because, you know, farming sucks. It's fine. <laughs> That's free meat for our lizards. We don't got to pay to feed those things. They're expensive. You know how much those fatties eat? Too much. <laughs> too much <laughs> right we cut through all our gold <laughs> so npc has a, quite a collection of crossbows and bolts now the bolts all have kind of sticky tarry substance on them just bolts i don't want poison yep. all right so how many i'm just gonna party pot all of them except for the poison bolts how many bolts are there well they're all poisoned <laughs> how, okay how many uh, let's see. So, 10, 20, 30. So, what did About we do 40 with the left? Uh, All right, I'll take the four. Oh, they killed him uh, when okay. they found out that he didn't actually know that Telish was the head of the guild and they said a little too much. Uh... <laughs> He's cool. Yeah. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. Somebody, 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 yeah. Um, is it just a regular crossbow? It is a short, it is a, a small crossbow. I feel like we're all learning I, from Thibor at this point. Like, Thibor's like, the, yeah. the lead on, like, we just need to murder everyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, it's Thibor's fault, if you think about it. Because you weren't here to combat. stop us. So he it's your fault. Blood. Well, it's funny, because before I got up, I said I'm, I was going to stab him at least in the foot or something. Oh, well. <laughs> well, you'll be happy. As soon as somebody said, uh, like, Telish, and he's like, who's that? I was like, knife to the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> awesome no sorry about that i had to get wife meds so, no it happens yep that's fine so morning comes <laughs> and if you guys do the rounds to find out if any of your other people on the assassins list are still in town no <clears throat> the ones that had store fronts just closed down saying that they'll be gone for a week or two uh, others are just not at their normal places well at the very least we cleaned them out of town did any of them stay? Nope. Okay. Just the two you killed last Just night. Just the two. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. That's kind of cool. Uh, did it, ten assassins. Did the church <laughs> dude have his book on him? What do you mean? His assassin book. Oh, uh, no, he did not. Okay. I mean, he's the groundskeeper of the, the temple here, isn't he? Might need to find out where he was staying. Go rummage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I assume it's not at the temple. Doesn't have like a place there. 
did I guess we'll did Grown Wolf go onto the temple grounds? Not uh, I did Wolf, with uh, with you a, did with with who? With, uh, with Thibor with because Thibor. Well, yeah, then, yeah, you guys saw the groundskeeper had a house on the grounds okay. of the temple. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's where we need to go. Yeah, go check that place out. Mm-hmm. Never know. This might have helped the abbot of the place, the head priest person, anyway, because we might have been helping put his house in order as he had a murderer there. Mm-hmm. That was one of the things that the guy had. Yeah. No, I like where you're thinking. Maybe, maybe we ask for uh, some sort of finder's fee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I killed your groundskeeper, but he was a bad man. <laughs> you should pay me for that. <laughs> you know what, Bert? The groundskeeper Willie was uh, a bad person. Uh, all right. So is that your approach? Uh, Would you go? I mean, getting on the temple grounds is easy enough. Uh, they have services every morning, but to go through this man's house, you're going to need either permission or just to he, do it on he, the sly he tried to kill us all right can we go through his house because you know we knew there were other assassins out there this obviously proves he was an assassin trying to kill us okay that would be great if you'd let us have a look um give me a charisma check find out whether there are other killers here in this area you know who might want to kill you uh yeah that's a success all right um where's the body who are you talking about the groundskeeper groundskeeper tried to yeah. kill you where's the body I mean, what did he? What did? What did he do? Why did he try to kill you? He's been, he's a good man. Look at these roses. This man was an yeah. artist. Every rose has, has its, its thorns. Its thorns. Yeah. Um, do you go directly there, or do you check in first with Arnest to let her know any mm. of this? Probably uh, should have let her know since she's in charge of the guards and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You did I'm that. Then a guard just accompanies you to okay. verify this happens. It's a fairly simple home. Uh, I mean, he's got a cot. He's got a wash basin. Not much else here. Um, I assume you guys just go over the place. If you can just yeah, all... Yeah, any kind of like loose floorboards, yeah. things like that, stones in the chimney. Right. Just everybody roll me a d6. I'm sure somebody will find it. Everybody rolls a six. Nobody finds shit. <laughs> There it is. There it is. Oh, it's Grunwald. Yeah, um, while there are several loose floorboards, you pull them up, and, I mean, you see there are stashes of things like, uh, well, you know, the uh, the monks here or the people that work here. Not that they take vows of poverty, but they live pretty simply. Uh, simple enough for this guy to have a bag of gemstones that he keeps under his floorboards, so you find that. Um, his book that you're looking for is actually uh, it, there's a compartment on the table that holds his water basin that you find and slides it out and there's just a, a vellum roll. Um, he's hey Bert, not been that active. It, Go ahead. Would, would, would it be okay if I find this by accidentally stepping into the floorboard <laughs> and then falling into the table and knocking everything just kind of open? <laughs> <laughs> you ever? Uh, it, it's the holistic method of uh, right. searching. Holistic method, yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's yeah, a you, housing you find rod this, and, and being clumsy. Yeah, you find this just tightly rolled uh, vellum scroll that you know he. There's half a dozen people there that he has been contracted to kill. Um, you know, most of these people are not that important. They're merchants. Uh, in one case, it's a horse trader. Apparently, did somebody dirty. Um, yeah, that's here. There you go. Here's your very good man. <laughs> hmm. What does the uh, priest do? Our thing. <laughs> Actually, the, this priest is the of the uh, more academic source. He's looking at that list. It's like well, those were all merchants. I mean, this man was an artist. Who's going to look after the flowers now? <laughs> 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 you know what? Fair. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, I know, buddy. Those are some really nice flowers. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose uh, any of his belongings will be uh, subject uh, to, to the to the crown. Uh, take his belongings very well, very well. He was kind of a standoff, a short, didn't talk much to people. Um, oh, he was so good with the flowers, though. I'll tell you what. He can look after the flowers one last time. Yeah. We'll be He's back in two or three days. <laughs> Dong. Yeah. <laughs> Even in his death, he will look after those flowers, right? Um, exactly. 
All right. So if, if you just question the people in here, um, it, it is unlikely that he took clients on the temple grounds, but he uh, he frequented uh, Abraham's quite quite often. And you know from experience that a lot of the ne'er do wells did because it's the only drinking house in the place. That's just where business is done, apparently. Uh, you get his list of contacts, too. And sure mm -hmm. enough, uh, other than the other body that you were able to verify last night, you've already killed off everyone else that was in his group. So for being and, thorough, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the dwarf was in his group, so the other blacksmith was in his group. Uh, I took all his stuff, too. <laughs> 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 I love taking people's stuff. <laughs> You know, two murders doesn't make a right, but I guess maybe it does. But three make a left. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. And and no one left behind makes a right. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So then, are you just going to sit back and see how your assassins did? Yeah, and I need to rest up a little bit. All right. Good enough. So uh, we'll just... Uh, Unfortunately, our petition, the, hey, the, the clergy, they're like, hey, we've uh, disposed of an evil for you. Think you could patch me up a little bit? Oh, yeah, certainly. Uh, actually, they would have done that anyway, just if you'd walked in looking that bad. While they're doing that, I'm just going to be obnoxious with NPC on the communicator orb and just be talking to them, even though they're right next to me oh, the whole God. time. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. This thing's neat. Uh, is there a way for me to go, like, can I go shopping? Yeah, uh, so let's let's just do some uh, just some follow up here. So, Thyber get nine hit points back. Several of the brothers have a spell for the day they can give to you. Um, cool. The one that was actually less proficient at it did the best. <laughs> I mean, I'm also slightly injured. Oh, you too. Okay. Uh, well, I'm stabbed, not by much, but it'll do. Okay, so there's two more available. Six points. Anyone else? Not too many. I'm good. Yep. Okay. So I'm six down, unless they're throwing more out. Otherwise, a couple days of rest would be fine. Yep. Well, it was either those two brothers could have given it or to you or uh, to <laughs> one. The, two. the first one was fine. Okay, so, so two more points. Have back. Another two hit points. Yep. <clears throat> There's that. Um, all right. So the next few days uh, leading up to the marriage, uh, there are a lot of runners going back and forth between the towns. Uh, there are a lot of, not just politicians, because this is a political event, uh, but also the highborns, the nobles, they're all make, having invitations, everything. Doesn't look like the man got killed. Uh, get to the day of uh, the marriage, and it's, it's still apparently on. So they're either waiting to make it dramatic, or they said, fuck it, let's just get out of Dodge and left. Or, you know what, the unfortunate thing is the groundskeeper was the best of them and we just got rid of him unceremoniously. <laughs> he was like the lead assassin and we're just like... <laughs> you find one of the other assassins list and it's like the rats in Miss McGillicuddy's attic, two gold. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a wow, like, level one like quest list. I guess we'll see how you give it a few more days. So uh, do you want to attend the marriage? Were we invited? Really. Yeah. Well, the public's invited. Oh, because you may not? you may have to be out on the church grounds and not actually see the thing in person. I mean, but... if we solved her, yeah, yeah. Many murders. Yeah. Do we not get special invites because of that? He's a king. Yeah, the Bible. Uh, he was a king, as far as the priest knows. Had you decided well, yeah, to but... actually have a meet with her, that might have been a thing, but it went all yeah. through our nest. Right. So, Fine. yeah. We missed our New Hope metal scene. Yep. What are we going to do now? All right. Well, I want to go at least to the wedding, y'all. Y'all down with that? <laughs> yeah, if we're only going to be on the church grounds, they won't see us there, really. So, why not? We can just go and see. Well, the, that's if they even know we're part of it. They may not even know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to babe. It's a special occasion. Oh, wow. Yeah, we should I... really go. Oh my god, we can be famous, guys. Oh, I want to be famous. I don't. Oh, I want them big follows. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> do you guys want to... So you're going to attend, then? Are you going to attend? All right. Sure. All right. Uh, Peltar is in attendance as well. And uh, 
he has an invitation to uh, the actual chamber. Um, he can bring you if you want to be his entourage. <laughs> sure. Because plus one. Yeah. All of us. Sure. You guys want to? We're a All polycule. Right. Okay, uh, so as you, big festive event, uh, they are feeding the populace, it, so everyone that's coming in is you know here for the, the special day, but also because, hey, free food. Um, an interesting thing to note, as you come onto the palace grounds, you guys were here before, this is where you stopped Telish, on pikes are eight bodies. Uh, they've been <laughs> stuck, they've been, yeah, uh, so, so eight bodies, Piked up so everyone can see, and around the necks uh, are little placards that say "assassin, assassin, assassin." <laughs> Only eight. Only eight. <laughs> Only eight. And uh, how many were there? I forget exactly. Ten. Okay, with the, with all the we murders two, in our place. So yeah. Well, ten. no, there were there were twelve. On oh, ten, okay, ten. okay. So, so there's two that are still unaccounted for. Yep, they might have just left, or they might have. They might left. They might be ready to spring. Yeah, to maybe we'll get a show. <laughs> I look at the wedding cake to see if it's going to burst out with assassins. As soon as as soon as you all have that exchange, I just start singing. I love a parade. <laughs> all right, so you guys are all uh, invited into the the ceremonial room, uh, where the bishop and uh, the current crown are <clears throat> to be wed. And uh, there's not a lot of pomp and circumstances. You're actually looking around. I mean, there are a lot of merchants and nobles here. Um, some faces you recognize, some you don't. Uh, but this is actually, to your mind, at least to some of you, uh, this is uh, really low, low key. There's not a lot going on here. Uh, <clears throat> and as the marriage progresses, um, they're just as it gets to the the part when they're giving the vows uh, to one another, there is a huge explosion. Rocks shatter, the ground shakes beneath you. Parts of the stone castle begin to fall in. Um, everybody, roll me dex checks and con checks. Okay. Here's dex. I'm yep. gonna I'm on. gonna use yep. a re-roll. Yep. I'm gonna use one on that. Well below on both mark. Oh um, wait, no, I rolled below. Yeah, never mind. I'm good. All right, I'm just gonna go across the board. Dion, <clears throat> how did scared. you do on your dex check? I rolled a one. All right, you barely avoid falling masonry uh, as the okay. walls and the ceiling come sh shattering down. You throw yourself across the floor. The next explosion is so loud. How was your con roll? Uh, I got under by five okay. so it's a 15 and i rolled a 10 um you can't hear there's this amazing ringing in your ear your vision blurs Whomp. a little bit as you're just concussed uh but you know you're, you're still able to keep your wits about you what do you do um, there's gonna... dust there's masonry everywhere you can't see what's going on uh, again your vision is a little blurry you can't hear a thing now it's kind of blew out your eardrums mm, i arm myself and I look around and keep an eye out and make sure my party members are okay. Okay, so you start looking around for your party members. Richard, how did yeah. you do on the dex check? Dex check was high success. <clears throat> Great. Uh, you nimbly avoid falling masonry uh, when the second, much louder explosion goes off. How did you do on the con check? Which absolutely rocks me. I fail miserably. Okay, uh, blood is coming out of your nose and your ears. Uh, your vision and your hearing are just gone. Uh, just this amazing concussive force that just, you know, just slaps into you. Brendan, how did Grown Wolf do? So Grown Wolf uh, passed. Uh, he passed with a low, low success on the con save and on the decks. It was like medium. Okay. Um, yeah. So you succeeded on both. Yes. Okay. Same thing. You're a little disoriented. Uh, you managed to avoid getting hit by masonry. You're looking around. What are you trying to do? Uh, I want to try to um, get as far away from the center of the, the damage to get a perspective. Like if I, can, <clears throat> if I can climb up on something, if I can move backwards, like anything to get more perspective sure. on what I'm seeing. Uh, you start climbing a mountain of rubble, figuring it may have settled enough as you go up. Okay. How did Thyber do? Uh, success on both 7 of 15 for Dex and 10 of 16 for Con. 
Okay. Uh, same thing. You avoid getting destroyed by volley masonry. <clears throat> you're a little you're a little rattled, but you're up and moving. What are you doing? I'm um, just trying to appraise the situation. Where did this attack come from? I mean, while it could kill, this isn't an assassination necessarily, except I, I guess with lots of collateral. Uh, but trying to just, is there any kind of enemy present that needs to be watched out for taken care of? Okay. Um, since you're kind of in all the, uh, the dust that's blowing around from this and the masonry fragments, go ahead and make me an intelligence check. Just you. Uh, four attempts. Okay. NPC, you see um, Tristan uh, laying on the ground. He's blood coming out of his ears and his mouth. He doesn't seem to be moving. You do see his chest rise and fall, though he's alive. He just looks like he's stunned real bad. Well, and Grown, out. <laughs> Grown Wolf, uh, you climb some of the masonry. It's a little unsteady, but you get as high up as you can so you can get some perspective, as you're saying. You look down, and uh, what you're seeing is right around the altar where... They were about to uh, just, you know, put it in the nuptials. Uh, the priest that was overseeing it is he's just so much wet, just pieces splattered against the back wall with enough force that it blew the wall out. You look down and you see where the bishop was standing. Uh, he's just there's just guts and limbs laying everywhere. Um, same with the uh, well, the, the new ruler, the new child. But as you're watching and you're looking down, it's like, oh, wow. Um, the bishop's limbs seem to pull back in. They start to re-knit. He stands up and he starts collecting the pieces of uh, his, his wife-to-be. And they start knitting back together. Oh, and Now no. there's so much dust and debris around that like you, you feel like you're the only one that's seeing this happen. Is this the Baron or the Bishop? It's the Bishop. And and the new bride. And the new bride. Yeah. Um so we'll uh yeah, what do you do? Or uh <laughs> what is your reaction to this? I'm gonna try to scrabble down and tell my compatriots I don't wanna cast anything at them. That's terrifying. So as you're scrambling down, the bishop's head kind of turns around far more than it should. <laughs> on oh. his neck and you see these blazing red eyes that look at you and it just gives you a smile as it goes back to putting his queen back together and so we'll end oh. it there <laughs> for the night That's I'm right. no longer wearing clean pants <laughs> <laughs> that lasted one half of a wedding <laughs> Hey, well, at least they were clean for the wedding, right? You did your That's best. That's right. You did your best. You did your I best. tried. Nice. All right, guys. So we'll uh, we'll <laughs> we'll get the fallout of this next uh, next time, and we'll uh, we'll see if you get your <laughs> your payout <laughs> for the elven load of knowledge. So, uh, anything you want to plug there, Oak? Uh, you can catch me Friday and Saturday nights playing uh, some Five E on Twitch and YouTube. U R A E N C E is how you'll find me. Nice. Friendin. Hi, I'm Friendin, like you said, twitch.tv slash Friendin. I draw art. I might actually get on after the stream and draw some art. I don't know. Uh, and uh, you catch me most days of the week. I'm also in a few games. Um, so just follow me if you want to hear about them. That's all. Nice. Richard. Hi, I'm Richard, and you can find me on Twitch here playing video games under LMTDTMFFR or limited time offer no vowels dion dion also known as substances used on twitch uh you can find me gaming on there doing a lot of dead by daylight because i'm obsessed with it and otherwise through the week you can catch me here tuesdays and fridays you can catch me on friendin's channel on thursdays and you can catch me on fulsham underscore art on saturday nights uh we just had our first session this last weekend and uh it was it was great i uh i laughed i cried i might have peed a little <laughs> it's always how you know you had fun right <laughs> change i'm your peeing draws. right now for 
Right. I'm peeing right now. Me so, uh, yeah, check us out on uh, twitch.tv slash Steam Steel Murder. Uh, we stream Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Uh, also, the podcast is at Blue Magic, dot com. Uh, 11 years worth of podcasting fun games going on there. Uh, those just uh, sh- tuning in tonight that haven't been here before, uh, I-, I gotta say, uh, sorry. <laughs> I uh, was not feeling great today. My voice is wrecked. It was a little bit uh, rougher of an adventure than we normally have. It's normally quite fun. Hope you guys had fun tonight, regardless. So <clears throat> we'll say goodbye, guys. Everybody. Thanks for running it, Bert. Bye. Bye.